Good evening, and welcome to Newcastle After Dark. We are your hosts, The Management. Coming to you from the land of the Warner Theater in Chenango, China. Bringing you films that are a feast for the mind. Tonight's film is a bizarre thriller. I'm very pleased to be able to bring it to you. It's Mario Bava's Lisa and the Devil. Yes. Uh, this stars um, Telly Savalas, Elkie Summers, Silva Casina, and Alita Valley, which you may remember her from Suspiria. Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's beautifully filmed. Yes. But the story is not evident. You have to pay attention to this one because it's very dreamlike. Yeah, I mean, it's not spoon-fed to you. No. No, yeah, so you definitely have to uh, pay a little more attention to this yes. one. I mean, of course, you know, the great Mario Bava, I mean, who's given us um, uh, Black Sabbath. Baron Blood. Yeah, um, Black Sunday, Blood and Black Lace. Oh, yeah. Just to mention a few of his films. And uh, uh, this one seems to go a little more under the radar. Yes. Uh, this one, he was given a free license to do what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And it is almost an art film. Yeah, I'd say so. But it's beautiful. It is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy 1974's Lisa and the Devil. of Satan expresses a quality which reflects the very soul of pleasure in evil. The devil seems a presence so strong and overpowering that this painting has led to a local superstition. The people of this region believe that it is only the power of the devil himself which has kept this fresco from ruin. Although Listen, the devil I'll be right back, okay? Work, Lisa, where are you going? Wait for me there, all right? Yeah, well, hurry back.
a few wrinkles in age him a little bit more. Hmm? Is it tire, Maestro? Hmm. A bit severe, isn't it? Well, I think this black here would be better, you know. Because then you could use it on all occasions. For funerals, weddings, whenever you like. Hmm, you have a point. Oh, I trimmed the mustache a little as you <coughs> asked me to. Excuse hmm. me, but how much are you asking for this? It's not for sale. It belongs to the gentleman here. Oh. Up oh, we go. <laughs> Do you think black is too severe, miss? Central. Por favor. She the lady we met in the shop. Hello, Miss. Excuse me, I, I, I am lost. Can you, uh, can you tell me where the main square is? Oh, come back here. <laughs> Excuse me. The square. What square? 
Well, the one... Well, the one where the painting is the uh, fresco of the devil carrying away the dead. Ah. That way. Good day, miss. Why do you look at me like that? Mine. You knew that I'd come back to you, that someday no. we'd find each other again. No, don't I... You, you must have known that I would have come back. No, no. No, Elena. Let me go. No! Uh. The upper hose is losing water, sir. It should be repaired. That's up to you. Let's go on.
Why are you staring at me? It's not me, it's the car, sir. Listen, George, you have to stop right here in the middle of nowhere. It's not up to me, sir. Boiling over, we can't go much further. Not without burning out the motor. You and your foreign cars. What do we do now? Wait for parts to come in from the factory? Stop that, will you? How do you open these? George! Thank you, George. Madam. How long will it take? Well, we had the hose only a few minutes. Can't you fix it? I'll try. Please, George. Oh, uh, good evening. I, uh, very sorry to bother you, but we've had some trouble with the car. The water hose is leaking and we'll need a mechanic. I realize it's late, but if we could use your phone and get in touch with the garage, we could... I'm sorry, there is no telephone here. We have so little use for it, you see. <laughs> yes, my lady, certainly. Is there a hotel nearby? No, not in the immediate vicinity. Oh, there are a few roadside inns, but their accommodations would hardly be for your approval. I see. <gasps> Coming, my lady. Oh, this is awful. George, where oh, are yes, you? Is Madam. Dreadful night. Please stay. Don't go away. Where could we find one of these roadside No, 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 please. Don't go away. My mother's not used to visitors. We live alone. But please, please come in. Maximilian, what should you? Excuse me, I'll only be a moment. Mother! Mother! Tell them to go, Maximilian, dear, listen to me. We're, we're always so alone. It'll only be for one night. Mother, please. She... They've no place to go. Only for one night. Very well, if you wish. Oh, thank you, Mother. Max, not in here. Show them to the cottage. You know, the villa's a bit run down, but I'm sure the cottage will be suitable. Besides, even the cottage would prefer it. Miss. Uh, you and I earlier this evening, yes? I... I mean, you were lost and asked for directions. You do remember, don't you? No. Hmm. I uh, do most of the shopping for the countess, and I'm often in town. Uh, and very little escapes me, if you know what I mean. Well, are we supposed to stand here? Listen there, uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Where is this place? Come, please. Come this way. Oh, it's 
slippery. Careful. There's a bit of moss here. <laughs> and there, and everywhere. <laughs> to come, miss. Where's your husband? I guess. Oh. Taking his bath. Well, the first thing he did was to go look for a tub. <laughs> no need to worry. Mm. He knows about us. He's not blind. Just that he doesn't care. Don't look like that. Hmm? I love you. What's the matter? What's wrong? What frightened you so? That 
Stoli meandro. No, 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 it... Dummy. It, it wasn't Leandro, oh, it was... Oh, he was carrying one of those. Oh, it was awful. The village is full of them. They're harmless. Don't cry. Don't. This is such a gloomy house. We're so alone. You can't imagine how... how happy I am now that you're back. Back? This is the last rose of the season. It lingered on and waited for you. If only you would stay. Don't go away. I beg you. I... I don't even know you. Everything's so different with you here. I feel alive and happy. Don't say no. Please. Maximilian? <gasps> is that you there? Yes, Mother. Excuse me. I have to go now. I'll see you at dinner. All right. Good evening, Mr. Rabbit. Or is it Mr. Hare? Would you care for a radish? No? They're very good. I'm very pleased you decided to accept our invitation. Thank you. I... Thank you. Yes, apparently. Our intrusion wasn't very tight. Oh, no, no, no. You're most welcome. Our mother's not used to visitors. She was a bit frightened, that's all. It was all so hmm. unexpected. You understand? Yes, of course. So thrilling. Thrilling? <laughs> you must be tired. Was it a long trip? Oh, that depends on the starting point, doesn't it? I'm afraid I wouldn't know how to answer that. Oh? I never plan things that far ahead. I certainly envy you. A new horizon emerges for you each day. My world, instead, is the very configuration of this villa. I... Mother! Oh, excuse me. I'm so glad you came down. Thank you, Mother. Good evening. Leandro, I would like to be introduced to our guest. I'm Francis Lehar. My wife, Sophia, and I wish to thank you for your kind assistance. That we... will suffice, thank you. Your ladyship, um, may I present Mr. and Mrs. Francis Lehar? And may I also present Miss, uh, Miss, uh... Lisa, Lisa Reiner. Miss Lisa Reiner. Please be seated. Thank you, Your Ladyship. Our guest, uh, Mr. Lehar, was telling us just before you arrived, Mother, of his journeys. He has the world in the palm of his hand, it would seem. <laughs> Where's the other person? Other person? You must mean the chauffeur. He's outside. No, not the chauffeur, dear. I mean the fifth person who came here this evening. Mother, believe me. Maximilian, dear, you haven't forgotten him, have you? It's so easy to imagine a mysterious visitor in this house. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank you. Uh, rare, very rare. Mm -hmm. The entire setting is so right for a tall tale of gloom and perdition. <laughs> We could make one up as we go along. We have the right ingredients. The dark night. This house. It's all so... so spooky. Don't you find, your ladyship? I prefer ghosts to vampires, though. They're so much more human. They have their tradition to live up to. Sophia. Somehow they manage to keep all the horror in without spilling any blood. <laughs> Listen to me, please. You're tired. What's wrong, Maximilian? Nothing. Nothing, really. Don't worry. Everybody... I told you he'd be back. Mother. I... I was not introduced to the fifth guest, Maximilian.
Please, excuse me, but I... I'll only be a moment. Do continue, please. I have to... Leandro, the cake. It's with chocolate sprinkles. Thank you. Leandro, perhaps our guests would like some cake also. It's quite good. Please continue. I'll... I'll be right back. Excuse me. I brought you some cake. It's your favorite, with chocolate sprinkles. Did you know he was back? You mustn't see him. You must send him away. not let him come between us again. He's caused enough anguish. You'll never enter this room. You have nothing to say? You're not asleep. You can pretend if you like. But you'll never leave this room. Do you hear me? Never! Never. That should do it. You'll be leaving at once? Uh-huh. Quite adept with these mechanical toys, aren't you? So-so. Thanks for the... Oh, you're over there. Thanks for the, the tape. Could you tell the others to get ready? I'll be through here in a minute. Of course. Thanks. That didn't take much, did it? No. Just a lot of tape. Most things aren't that easy to mend. How could you come back after what you've done to us? Mother, mother was certain that you'd return. She was certain. But I never thought you'd have the courage. Why did you have to come back now? Just when I found happiness. Hmm. I won't let you destroy everything. You can't take her away again! Where are you? How can I stop you when I can't even see you? Where are you, you coward? Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, finally. 
This is so nerve-wracking. Lisa, we're leaving as soon as the car is ready. I would be glad to take you. Oh, uh, I don't think our young lady would be going with you. Master Maximilian has asked you to stay. Come. Come closer, girl. The eyes, Leandro. What color are the eyes? Changeable, my lady. But by candlelight... Blue. She's blind, my God! And the hair, Leandro. Tell me of it. Tell me of the hair. Light, my lady. And gently flowing. Golden like a field of wheat? No, my lady. Brighter still, and haloing an equally beautiful countenance. Oh, she's a very lovely creature, my lady. You wouldn't listen when I told you to stay away. Now it's too late. Going out of my mind, Frank. These people are all crazy. What's happened to George? What's going on? Where's George gone, dear? To fix the car. <sighs> Calm down, will you? Calm down. <sighs> all right. I'll go out and take a look. And you? Calm down. Hmm? 
I find that invariably, Miss Lisa. There's a very simple explanation for almost everything. Don't you agree? <coughs> give you life and happiness. Don't leave me, please. The thought of losing you fills me with such sadness. I don't dare think of it. so long for you.
Welcome back, friends. Well, here we have the beginnings of our film. And I gotta say that this film immediately drew me in. Yeah. I was not sure what we're really getting off to. It's a very strange dream that we're in. It really is. It really is. And even at this point, we're still figuring out what this whole circle of people yes. really is, you know, coming to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the strangeness where, you know, she's in a tour group and then she sees the fresco and then she sees, you know, Telly Savalas, who looks just like the fresco. Right. Yeah. And he's in a mannequin shop. Right. I mean, you know, and clearly, you know, we can tell at this point, you know, at least in the devil that, you know, Telly Savalas is obviously the devil at well, this point. He's sinister. You know? I'll say that. Right. He's, he's definitely sinister. Yeah. You know, for sure. And, you know, it's interesting uh, I guess originally, you know, people that they thought of uh, for some of these roles. Um, Anthony Perkins as Maximilian. Uh, Betty Davis as the Contessa. Hmm. And uh, Burt Lancaster. Who I assume uh, they would have wanted as... Uh, Leandro. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, <clears throat> as an American version of it, I could see that. Maybe if it was taking place not in Spain. Right. You know, in California or something. Right. I, I could go with that. Right. But I think that with the foreign actors and actresses, it adds to the believability of the story. Right. Well, you know, sometimes you think they would have wanted those those particular stars to sell the movie. Yes. Right? Yes, you're right. Yeah, yes. I mean, for sure. Even though Telly Savalas, you know, is an American. Right. You know. Right. But, you know, Telly is uh, he's a chameleon. He's tremendous. He is tremendous. He really is. And, you know, there's something so smug about him. He knows what's going on. Right. Right. And uh, we also noticed, you know, in some scenes, you'll see him smoking. Yeah. And then you'll see him with the lollipop. Yes. Yeah. And in real life, he was trying to quit smoking by using lollipop. Right. Well, they didn't have the patch or... Right. They didn't no. have some Nicorette. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of lollipop do you think that was? dum-dum <laughs> <laughs> it looked bigger than a dum-dum it, it, it might have been a tootsie pop right tootsie pop or it could have been uh, a charms blow pop right i don't think tally would be best around with no lollipop <laughs> with some gum in it you think you'd rather have a tootsie roll there yeah, i think you'd rather have a smoke <laughs> you know yeah uh, i but, agree you know yeah i agree maybe yeah. someday later on you know when we hang up the tobacco yeah perhaps you know we'll be in the we'll take a page out of uh, <laughs> his yeah. book yeah. Yeah. And uh, get those fancy lollipops. <laughs> but it's off to an interesting start. It really is. It is. And, you know, the other thing was shortly after this film, this is when Telly starred in TV series Kojak. Yeah. And it propelled him as a, into a superstar. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he absolutely. Be he became closely associated with lollipops. Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's worse things to be associated with. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, yeah. I have to agree. Yes. Yeah. So let's get back to Lisa and the Devil. Your concern for our chauffeur is almost touching. Where are you going? If this is your way of being a man, Frank, I'm very unimpressed. You slut. Let go of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
No, we don't want anyone coming now. It's all so horrible. Don't you think Mother predicted it? We mustn't call them. They'll pry into our lives and we'll all be guilty. It's not always wise to stir up the past. We all have some unforgivable secret. Sarah, let us leave well enough alone. someone else in the house. If we haven't seen him, there must be a reason, don't you think? If you would take my humble advice, Mr. Lehar, it would be best to leave at once. Huh. I understand. Would you say my chauffeur discovered something he wasn't supposed to? Who knows? We all have enemies, Mr. Lehar. And what better place to get rid of someone undesirable? Undesirable? Why? What enemies are there in here? Hmm. But not to worry. All you have to do is go and leave the corpse to us. Now, Mr. Lehar, can I trouble you for a cigarette? Oh, yes. Mm. 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 Leandro. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you mind putting out those cigarettes? The smoke bothers the Contessa. <coughs> You call, my lady. Where is my son? Is he with a girl? I don't know. Get rid of her. We must send her away. Oh, Lisa, what good is it to hope for the future when solitude is all that awaits me? What else is there to live for? What else matters after having felt the joy of your presence? When I... Mm -hmm. When I think of my life and on what poor stuff my dreams were fed, I feel such futility in going on. If you were to leave me, I'd... No. No, it is I who shall never leave you. Oh, Maximilian. What evil spirit forces you to utter such words? Have you no pride? No. 
I have no pride when it comes to words or things I do. I only have the greatest regrets for what I have not done. Mother, mother, please, try to understand if you knew how desperate I feel. We both know how it will end, Maximilian. No, you're wrong. You're wrong this time, Mother. No, my son. It will be different. You can't stop me, Mother. Oh, my poor child. I'm no longer a child. Let me live my life. Come, Maximilian, come. It's so damn must believe me. I want to help you. For years, I've waited for this moment. Trust me. We must flee from here. Wait for me here. I'll go and see what he's doing. Wait for me, my love. Say it with flowers. Elena, what's the matter? I heard you scream. Ah! No, wait. I, I want to help you. Come back. Elena. No, wait.
Elena. Ah! Why did you run away from me? I told you I want to help you. I love you. If you're through mourning your lover, we can leave. Let's go. Come on. Go on, get in. Frank, I'm not coming with you. I'm staying here until George is buried. Get in the car. We can do without the chauffeur. You said and done. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at that head. 
Newly molded this morning and already it's split. Must be that synthetic glue. Mm, that's what it is. Neither glue nor splinted heads can stop the funeral. The ceremony must go on. The Countess is waiting. Waiting hmm. to bury the dead. <laughs> the poor Countess isn't so wrong, really. Wanting to get rid of him. He's not a very pleasant memory. A man losing his head. <laughs> That's pretty good. A man losing his head. Hmm. A husband. Hmm. A husband losing his head over a woman. Shame on you. But still, the Countess wants his body repaired. She wants it put in working order for the burial. Tradition, she says. More work, I say! All this tradition. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if I had any. But what does tradition mean to a poor devil like me? Work and fatigue. That's my heritage. They break. They snap. They pop. They crackle. And I'm the one who puts that tradition back together again. <laughs> And now I got another puppet to make. Lucky for me, you look just like her. Because you won't be around tomorrow, that's for sure. I knew you'd be back. Everything's been ready. We were only waiting. But you didn't come back here for me, your wife. You came back for her. You saw her. She was in that body. And you came back for her. Gently. Ever so gently. Ah. Oh, how dastardly. The irresponsibility. <gasps> Such devilish acts. smoke this fire <laughs> is this the face that launched so many deaths a modern day Helen Cleopatra hmm? sleeping beauty and I'm Prince Charming oh didn't work Sleeping Beauty awakens. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Did you sleep well? Three. It is good. What? What is he? Isn't possible. It... Oh, be careful. Please don't touch. The glue is still wet. That size? Six and a half. But it can't be. He, he spoke to me. Hmm? Well, that's no reason to faint dead away. 
It's quite possible that he spoke to you. I mean, this is Senor Carlos. That's the Countess's husband. Maximilian's stepfather. I mean, why shouldn't you have seen him? He was here. <laughs> no, but did he... Don't you see? It can't be. I, I know it's that I, I saw him in his, in his casket in the chapel. In the chapel? No, 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 no. You saw this dummy in the coffin. You see, it's a dress rehearsal for the funeral ceremony. Oh, by the way, I dropped it and it broke on the way here, but please don't tell the Countess. I mean, I, I, I fixed it. You can hardly tell, can you? Hmm? Then Carlos is, is alive. Isn't he? Oh, no. Senor Carlos is dead. Leandro. Leandro! Yes, my lady. I heard her running, calling for my son. Hurry, Leandro, there is no time to lose. Tell me, does she really look oh, like yes. you? Oh, yes, my lady. She is Miss Helena in person. We must find her. Yes, my lady. <laughs> escape. We'll start a new life together. My mother is jealous yes. beyond reason. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in this nightmare. No, no. Help me. Please, help me to leave. so beautiful. I didn't think there could ever be a girl as beautiful as you. You're even more beautiful than Elena. Elena? Come. Come. Where are we? No, I don't want to think about her now. She brings back so many sad memories. I loved her deeply, yet she deceived me. Come, I'll show her to you. Maximilian, I... Don't worry. I, I... I... Come, it's all right. Come, my love. This is Ellen. <laughs> my love, you mustn't do that. Please. I told you she means nothing to me now. Believe me, my love. She must not. 
I love you. Only, believe me, she could have helped me. I begged her to. But she wouldn't. She wouldn't do it. It's true. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. Here. be together. You and I. Always. different with you. I know it will. It has to be different. Thank <laughs> you. 
Leave me. <laughs> Leave! <laughs> I can't with you here. Why don't you leave me? Why? Ceremony. Do you understand? A wedding ceremony! What will that change? It's all my fault. I should have stopped you. No! I should not have let you meet her. Quiet. After what you did to Elena. After what I did to Elena? Maximilian, please. And what about what she did to me? She ran away with your husband. Maximilian, I forbid you to talk that to Your me. husband! Yet Carlos never knew why she didn't join him. I avenged myself and you at the same time. No. It's not as simple as you think, Maximilian. Now they'll come looking for all those people. Why did you do it, my child? Why? They were going to take my lease away. That would have been better for all of us. That stupid driver. I had to stop them. That girl will be the end of us. You must get rid of her. No. No. If we cover every trace of what happened here, there'll still be a chance. Otherwise, they'll take you away. And you'll be punished, my love. I can't go on like this. I can't live like this in your shrine of death. It's all around me. Maximilian. I want to live. I want to be free. I want to be with people. I understand, poor child. Don't call me that! I'm your mother. No one can understand you as I do, or protect you as I do. Listen to me. You will be saved only if Lisa disappears. Lisa. Listen to me, my child. Lisa. Go. Get out. Don't talk that way to your mother. You are very cruel with me today. But I forgive you. I know you don't mean what you say. Do you, my darling? Say that you love me. <laughs>
Leandro! Ai! No! No! Mother! No! Please, no! Never stay put. Oh, it slipped.
Here you are, Mr. Leandro. It's the best I could do. I had such a short notice. Mm. I do hope you think it's all right, sir. No. I'm afraid it's all too late, my friend. Oh. All too late. The airport, right away, please.
ですか certainly have a lot to talk about. I should say so, yeah. <laughs> uh, the first interesting fact of this film is that in the States, it was released as House of Exorcism. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I guess uh, when they had uh, first done Lisa and the Devil, uh, trying to get it into theaters wasn't as easy as they had thought. And so trying to capitalize on The Exorcist, which hadn't come out that you know yes. long before it, um, they had put in new scenes, right. which has uh, you know a priest and Lisa and an exorcism, mm -hmm. and it, it's it, it's completely you know different than this, yeah, right? Yeah. It's not good. So, and I think that happened um, what 75, 76, yes. around that area, yes. right? And um, this film didn't even get to be really seen until about a decade after that, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, now, you know that brings us to Bava. And mm -hmm. the Giallo films. Well, you know, when you think about Giallo films, of course you think Argento and Fulci and, Fulci. you know, yes. Lenzi, yes. you know, and, but he's never been quite, to me, his films aren't nearly as graphic as, right. as those. Well, know? his son, Lamberto, yeah. would go on and be more. Right. Now, I'm not saying that they're, that they're better or they're worse. Correct. You know. I appreciate Mario Bava's films because they're, <laughs> you know, they're, Artistic. I do as well. I do as well. I mean, you know, not taking anything away from Argento. I mean, you know, Suspiria is a masterpiece. It is. You know? It is. I mean, really, it is. And, you know, Fulci, um, The Psychic is a great movie. Yes, it is. It really is. The Psychic is a great yeah, movie. Yeah, so, but I enjoy Mario Baba. Me too. I really do. And, uh, you know, I think that with uh, Mario Bava, that, you know, this film is an exception, but some of those Giallo films, like you said, they're like the Italian take on Alfred Hitchcock. Oh yeah, I, I mean, really, you know, they are, you know, uh, the uh, mystery murder who done yeah, it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I dig it. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely dig it. Yeah, for sure. But let's get to it. Well, I guess in the end, it is. What is your take on the outcome of the film? Well, my take was Lisa escaped her punishment because as you noticed it's a circle of sinners absolutely and she is drawn back to Spain and imagines herself as being another person and because when she leaves the tour group and she goes back to it they're gone everybody's right. gone the right. town is empty right and she just so happens to stumble upon you know, the people in the car. Right. And it's a really old car. Right. Right. I mean, you, you are right. You yeah, bust out right. this Packard. Right. You know, she was dressed right. like, uh, you know, that girl, <laughs> Marlo Thomas. Right, right, yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. And uh, she, you know, had to replay the sins of her life. Right. Right. All for the pleasure of the Which devil. is kind of trying to piece these things together you know I mean all this information yes. is you know slow, slowly being brought to her attention yes you know, I mean really Carlos is there from the beginning yes you know um, he's the one that she pushes down the steps yeah. 
right? right? And, and sees him again and again, and yes. you, know, you know, starts to, you know, I mean, he's actually talking to her. Yes. I guess the thing was, is, you know, is she a ghost? Or was she actually truly somebody, you know, who was named, you know, yeah, you know, as Lisa, but was Elena. And that's what I thought, you know, because when she's with the tour group, um, she tells her friend there, you know, I'll be back. You know, wait for me here. True, that's you know? true. So, leads me to think that, you know, she's not just a ghost that's, you know, wandering and reliving, because she's not quite reliving it, but she's her own person. Yes, I understand, but her friend was gone. They were all gone. They were all gone. Yeah. So, the thing that I wondered was, which I'm not, uh, you know, super educated on the laws of reincarnation. Right. But I would think being reborn, your soul would be reborn also as a fresh, right. a clean slate. Right. But hers wasn't. Right. She had to pay. She escaped her punishment. Right. Well, in any case, the devil is claiming his soul, isn't he? Oh, yeah. And, you know, he orchestrated the whole thing. Right. Whether it's for his own amusement, of letting it play out, and all the players... Yes, you know, and their and their and their you know uh, mannequin dummy selves. Yes, right. Yes, but you know I think that uh, Telly Savalas was very smug and yeah. knowing as the devil. Right, especially when she got on the plane. Oh yeah, she's like I'm out of here. Right, yeah, I'm free. Right, it was all a bad dream. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was a great movie. It was a great movie. It really was. And, you know, having watched it and watched it again, because like we said, mm -hmm. it's not, it's not you know, all that easy to follow. No, you'll think about it. And in the end, you know, you have your own take on it. Yes. We'd like to know yours. Absolutely. You know, yeah. there is so much to this film that, you know, it's open to interpretation. Yeah. And that's what makes a great film. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we thank you for being here with us at Newcastle After Dark. We hope you join us again for the Lost Treasure in Cinema. And until next time, good night. Good night.